Hello everyone and welcome to Nets of College of Technology. Today I will be demonstrating how to access Encode Labs. To begin you will need a web browser and Java JRE8 update 31 installed on your system. The Java setup will be provided to you by the instructor or you can download it from the internet. Make sure to download only Java 8 update 341. The newer versions are not compatible with NDG server. To install Java client just double click the Java setup and click install. Wait for the Java to be installed. Once Java is successfully installed, click close. The next step is to configure Java settings. To do that, click Start, search for Configure Java and open it. In the Java control panel, click the Security tab. Here in the exception site list, we have to add the FQDN and IP address of the uh, Remote Labs website. To do that, click Edit site list, click Add. Here add http colon slash slash labs dot net soft college dot com. Click add. In the security warning dialog box, click continue. Uh, also add the IP address of the server. Click add. Type http colon slash slash 142.112.35.139 click add click continue and click ok once you see these two websites uh, added under exception site list click ok now you are all set to navigate and browse the Encode Labs. Open a web browser. I'm using Google Chrome for this demonstration. You can use the either the FQDN or the IP address to browse the NDG server. The FQDN is HTTP labs.netsoftcollege.com and you will be on this page. Once enrolled at NetSoft College of Technology, you will receive a username to access your labs. Your temporary password will be PASS1234. Enter your credentials to login. When you are logging in for the first time, th uh, this website will ask you to create a new password. So once you create a new password, it will ask you to test Java as you have already installed Java on your system. You can click skip Java check. On the remote access test page, uh, make sure always uh, click on start remote access test. A file will be downloaded. Click keep. Run the file when it's downloaded. In the security warning, check this checkbox. I accept the risk and want to run this application and click run. So uh, when the remote access test is successfully completed, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, you can set a scheduler for your lab. So just click scheduler. Uh, click the class name and code ADPC and uh, click the course name designing implementing administrating and supporting Microsoft Active Directory if you want to reserve the labs now just click right under the red line and uh, make sure that that start time is now you can reserve the labs for any later time 
the maximum session for uh, this lab scheduler is four hours so you can set the time uh, according to you and click OK as you see your reservation is confirmed click I'm done you can enter the labs by just clicking on enter lab and the system will start uh, your equipment ports and the virtual machines it might take some time for the virtual machines to be started so wait for it you can also browse the labs by using the IP address the IP address is 142.112.35.139 and then you can follow the process as you see the virtual machines are starting and the status is initializing to access the uh, here in this infrastructure you have uh, four servers and two workstations the servers are using Windows Server 2019 and the workstations are using Windows 10 operating system to access any of the virtual machine uh, just click on the virtual machine a file will be downloaded you click keep run the file uh, accept this and click run as you see now I am able to access the virtual machines and it is starting once you are connected to the virtual machine to log in you can uh, to send control alt and delete click PC and click send control alt delete uh, you can log in with the password P at the rate SSW 0 RD And here you see I am logging into the Windows Server. If you encounter any technical issues with the lab, please contact our support team at support at netsofcollege.com. Thank you for attending this demonstration and I hope it will help you to access and navigate the Encode lab successfully.